Regarding quality nine, mm -hmm. what does a soul-based understanding that divine truth does not hurt anyone or anything look like in my personal life? Well, I, I, I no longer am governed by the concept that truth results in pain. Mm -hmm. That's the primary way in which it affects my life. I see that any pain that I experience is not the result of truth, but rather the result of error leaving me. Yeah. And so instead of um, denying painful processes, we are willing to accept painful processes as long as they are going to free us of the fear and pain that mm -hmm. is within us. Mm -hmm. We accept these particular processes as a part of our existence until such a time as we are free of the pain, whether it be emotional or physical. We no longer see truth as the cause of it. We see the error is the cause of it. We see the proper relationship between error and pain. Once we're in that condition, it changes the way in which we see most things that we experience. Because we, we start seeing that pain is not something to be avoided, yeah. but something to be embraced and experienced. We don't choose to create it. Also, we, we don't choose to create painful experiences, mm -hmm. but we choose to release painful emotions that have been from previous experiences that are painful. Yeah. Ironically, a person who doesn't understand this relationship will continue to choose to create painful experiences. So in other words, because they're in denial of the truth, there is no way for them to create a more happy experience in their future. Because they're in in acceptance of the fear and pain-based experience and not releasing it, they then choose to make decisions based upon the suppression of this fear and pain-based experience. Mm -hmm. And that causes them to make more fear and pain-based experiences in their life. Yeah. It's only the absorption of truth that allows this cycle to stop. So we would stop blaming our pain on knowing more truth. Mm -hmm. We would start to see the importance of absorbing more truth. And in fact, we would develop a passionate desire to know more truth because we have broken this internal belief, which is a false belief that there is a relationship between pain and truth. Yeah. The pain and truth relationship does not exist. Mm -hmm. right? It is not and has always, is not God's truth, and has always been a figment of our own imagination. There is a direct relationship between error and pain. That does exist. And we need to come to accept that from an emotional perspective that this relationship exists. Mm -hmm. Now, when we understand that relationship, that error is the result of all of our pain, mm -hmm. and as a result, when we release error, we're going to have to release pain. We then start to... Um, accept the process of the release of pain. Yep. We no longer desire to get involved in situations or events that cause us to suppress our pain yep. or that cause us to suppress the error. We no longer accept beliefs that causes us to suppress error. Mm -hmm. We no longer desire to have error within us mm -hmm. as we did before. We no longer support error in our environment or our community or our worldwide belief systems. We, we confront those errors instead because we realise they, the they are all the causes of our pain currently. Mm -hmm. So presumably that means that we don't choose to suppress truth in any situation because right. we know that it's not... Um, divine truth never hurts anyone or anything. Exactly. And if it happens to expose error, then that's going to be the best thing for everyone yes. involved. And we, we know it's the best thing because we've experienced that in our personal life and we know it's the best thing. So, so instead of engaging a process where we're telling this person a white lie so that they can avoid that particular truth and saying a white lie here or a black lie there in order to, <laughs> yeah. to support you know, the, the person in their error-based position and help them avoid pain, we, we even see helping a person avoid pain as a error-based position mm -hmm. because we realise that pain and suffering is error yeah. based on, all based on error. So we don't support their suppression of pain. We want to help them release it. Yeah. So we would not even encourage the development of drugs that supported the suppression of pain. Mm -hmm. We would instead encourage the development of drugs that supported the release of pain if there was such a thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and 
we, we would choose to engage our life in this really positive manner of sharing the truth all the time, never being afraid of the truth, never, be, never avoiding the truth in public experience or in public life or in our private life. We'd never avoid truth in our relationship, with our relationship with our parents, children, our partner. We would always be telling the truth. When they ask us what we feel, we'd always say what we feel, even if what we feel isn't very nice at the time. Yeah. We would do it in a manner that is not blaming them or criticising them or dumping on them, but we would choose to do it because that's what truth would do. Mm -hmm. Error wouldn't do that. Yeah. Error would compound the error. Yeah. Error would say another lie and cover over the previous one. Yeah. That's what error would do. We wouldn't choose to do that. Mm. <coughs> 